Hey there, Sharon Hornelton here. Look, we're going to talk today about how you can let it or let things slip through your fingers. How you can do that. Uh, today is actually day 1300, 1300 of doing one thing every day that I document my journey. I document my journey as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. Uh, over 47 years in different businesses, different industries, like 27 or so offline and 25 of that over a quarter century in corporate America, working for some of the most fascinating and fantastic uh, corporations, both uh, publicly traded and privately held in the world. Really, really amazing experiences in corporate America. So now, amazing as I look back on them, sometimes during that time period, it didn't feel so amazing, some of the things that were going on, some of the things that I experienced. Some were quite actually what other people would consider traumatic and dramatic, yet they lived through, survived them all, and they, they made me who I am today. So day 1300, as, I tra as I've transitioned to the online world, and again in 2021 going a little bit back and forth, I'm doing three main pieces of content every day uh, right now. One is the free 30 plus day get up and go challenge. And today we were talking about um, relationships and the action we need to take. We, we go over something called the SOAP framework. The SOAP framework is the foundation of the challenge itself. What we're doing is we're installing in our subconscious a process, a pattern, a, a framework that any change, any challenge, any obstacle, any adversity, any pain, any, you know, roadblocks, any obstacles, anything that, that changes or comes into our life automatically gets filtered through the SOAP framework because we're installing it in our subconscious and it becomes as easy as breathing to guarantee we're going to get better results for us after having experienced something than before having experienced it because we'll just automatically use the SOAP framework to handle it. So we're breaking down the SOAP framework for three days for three different areas and aspects of our life and then over the, the following six days, we will cover the S, the O, the AP all in one day, hopefully in 10 minutes or less. I don't know. My timer went off today, so I think I might have gone over my 10 minutes. It'll be the first time through the challenge. So day 21, not awesome. Hopefully it's still under 10 minutes, but that was my personal goal during the challenge was to keep each video and each lesson to 10 minutes or less. And in that lesson, I'm Describing what the what the thing is that we're learning, what the lesson is, what we're really looking for in the day's challenge, what tool we're going to use to help us actually get that result and take action in our life, and then an action item that we share that we're going to do and share with one another. So some days it's easy, but today we were discussing nominal group technique. Nominal group technique is a, a little bit more uh, complicated form of problem solving decision making and so to explain all that and do that all in 10 minutes it is no small feat of course it's doable I'm sure I can be much more clear concise and direct in my communication but I also want to give some examples so people can more clearly understand what the heck I'm talking about and how you can use this and that if my eight-year-old daughter can use this to name a puppy you can use it to do just about anything especially in a team environment or team setting or when you have a complex situation where you're deciding among uh, unrelated alternatives right and possibilities and it just gives you a better way to get a handle on making a decision so now I'm a group technique for relationship action is what we we're talking about today <clears throat> and I'm doing the relationship with enemies haters uh, competitors what else would you fall in that category difficult people people that we consider difficult and again what I consider difficult is different than who you would consider difficult. Uh, I have a lot of people that I don't get along with that other people just seem to love and adore and vice versa. There's lots of people that love and adore me and then there's other people that can't stand me and hate my guts. And that's just the nature of being human. People like us, people don't like us. Most people don't even think about us at all or in the middle. And I say ignore the negative, ignore the, the haters and the bullies and the, the extremists unless you need to stand up for yourself or other people because it's important. Um, otherwise, I say, Psh, let them go do their thing and hate on other people. If we don't react and respond, chances are they're just going to leave us alone because they don't get their little hit of power by making us feel bad. And if we don't feel bad, you know, it's, it's, it, they don't waste our time on us anymore. Same with a bully, same with an enemy, same with a competitor. If we just 
do our own thing and keep moving in the direction and serving the people we're here to serve, it doesn't matter what the competition is doing. There's plenty of business in this world for everybody. There's plenty of people in this world for all of us to have the relationships we want. There's plenty of everything in the world for us to create the life we want, despite all the nonsense and beliefs and junk we're fed from outside sources and sometimes from inside ourselves because we get bought into the outside negativity and the outside sources and the outside BS that the rest of the world tries to feed us and shove down our throats because that's the way they want to control us and be, be in the world. And I say no to all of it. Let's just be ourselves and do our own thing and continue to notice what works for us, pay attention to what is in our best interest and just do that and just leave all the rest behind. So our uh, idiom for supersize your business today was slip through your fingers. And I contend that there's opportunities and possibilities around us all the time. And until we're ready, until we look around and are looking for an opportunity, all the ones that we didn't take advantage of before are not slipping through our fingers. We didn't intentionally say no to them. We couldn't even see them. We couldn't even hear the opportunities being presented all around us because we weren't we weren't ready we weren't prepared so I think if we focus on understanding and getting to know ourselves better if we know what our priorities are what our values are what's important to us and we live and make decisions and choices based on that if we know where it is that we want to go and we don't have to know how the heck we're gonna get there we just have to know hey this is where I want to go and then start moving toward that if we know our outcome if we know ourselves it's easy to know what is right for us and what isn't. And that applies to people, places, things, opportunities, jobs, whatever. We're not letting them slip through our fingers if we're choosing not to do them, not to participate in them. I give the example of the lottery. Are we letting the lottery slip through our fingers or are we choosing not to buy a ticket because we're just not gonna participate in it? Very different than thinking that every missed opportunity and yeah there's something to do with opportunity cost and mostly it's a it's a consultants gig to get you to feel bad about the things you didn't do but I say use it as a way to be more open-minded to see the things that you could possibly do versus the things that you didn't do you know it's like focusing on the past versus the present moment living in the past you can can do nothing to change the past so why would you live in the past to me looking at opportunities from the past as if we've missed them means we're missing the boat and we're not living our life now so that was our idiom for supersize your business today our all about you challenge today our 365 day challenge to get to know ourselves better was a good one I've never heard this before it's a, a little I guess saying or poem by anonymous about doing all that you can and it, it's been my motto for a, quite a while but especially since COVID do what you can with what you've got right now don't stop don't stop moving forward don't stop going for what you want do what you can with what you've got right now be resourceful get resourceful get creative get excited to have to figure stuff out the vast majority on this planet people have not had to figure stuff out over the last you know few decades life has been pretty easy and pretty simple for at least people in America you know and I, and I know that's not a hundred percent of the people but for most people in America we live a lifestyle that is vastly better than the majority of the world and so uh, COVID-19 challenged a lot of people that have really actually never had to deal with a big challenge in their life so there's always an upside to everything that we look at everything we consider and so I look for the upside of COVID-19 now of course there's lots of downsides but there's also always the opposite, the flip side of any situation, any uh, any uh, experience. We can look at both sides of it. There's, there's two sides to every coin. Of course, I don't have a coin handy, but we know this, and we need to be willing and open to look at both sides, because once you see both sides, you step back, you see both sides, you have the freedom to choose what's right for you, and that's personal freedom, and when we give up our personal freedom, that's when we're I say screwed, but uh, we don't have to ever give up our personal freedom. We can believe what we want to believe and no one can take that from us. They can try to, they can manipulate, they can punish, they can do all kinds of bullying tactics, but we don't have to change our beliefs. We don't ever have to change who we know we are inside because of outside forces, you know. We can, we can die believing in what we believe in. 
and nobody else gets to tell us that at least not in America they can they can try they can try they can try but it doesn't mean that we have to go along with it and I think the vast majority of people in this country are not going along with the bullshit narrative we're just not we're also just not talking about it we're just doing our own thing living our lives creating what we want to have in our lives and letting the other idiots play their game that's my pontificating for today I guess so do what you can can do what can you do today share something uh, supersize your business nominal group technique your actions with respect to relationships that are is the biggies the things I'm doing also working on a project around the house that I want to dig into and get done so I'm gonna sign off if I can help you in any way if you have any questions about offline business or online business and you haven't been able to find anybody to help you get to the next step to get into action just hit me up and ask there's you know there's no guarantee I will know what is the next right step for you but I can guarantee you already know what is the next right step for you and my job is just to help you pull that out and understand and say oh yeah this is the next thing I need to do because only you know what that is for you but I have had hundreds of thousands of opportunities to practice helping people to do that and so that's why I make that offer at the end of this uh, little video journal that's it have an awesome day I will of course be with you tomorrow bye